Uh, I, this is kind of an addendum to uh, the He's a Pirate lesson. Uh, I'm going to show you how it sounds on an electric guitar with some gain on it, some distortion. Uh, and I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, just keep in mind that I actually have this guitar tuned in uh, drop C right now. Well, not drop C. It's uh, basically just tuned to C. So uh, it's not going to be in the same key as the original was. But hopefully you should still get the idea. I'm just too lazy to tune it out when I'm usually playing this guitar in drop C anyway. Anyway, here we go. Uh, you can add some harmonics to it, some pick harmonics. Uh, it's pretty cool. So, there you have it. Uh, that's some of the stuff that you can do with this. Uh, and one of the other things that I was going to show you, too, is that you can do that exact same thing that you're playing up here. You can do that on an upper, uh, an upper fret. You can basically transfer that to uh, starting on the 7th fret of the D string. Just keep in mind that when you go up to that 3rd string in the progression, uh, in this case the B string, it's going to be one fret up from what you learned before uh, as far as the finger positions. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. Uh, for example, if I were to play it like I originally did, like I were playing it up here on the E, A, and D strings starting at the fifth fret, it would sound like this, which obviously isn't right. See, it doesn't sound right, so you have to bring it one fret up. So, uh, like that. So, uh, that's how you do it. Otherwise, the fingering is just exactly the same. Just transfer everything that's on that third, uh, third string, so the highest string that you'll play in that specific part of the song. Uh, transfer that one fret up. So, anyway, uh, that's the entire thing uh, that I wanted to show you as this kind of add-on. Like I said, I might actually also post uh, some chords that you can play uh, while you're playing the parts or whatever. Uh, we'll see about that, but otherwise, happy picking.